Hello and welcome to the show. Melania Trump has had a significant increase in public engagements after a very busy month opening monuments, planning state dinners and promoting her anti-bullying campaign. Despite this, the First Lady's engagements have been accused of having underlying motives. Critics of the wife of US President Donald Trump also hinted as to why there has been little comment from Melania over recent events concerning her husband. Quinnipiac University Media Studies Professor Lisa Burns told the Washington Post she believes Melania's outings are a test run for Trump's 2020 campaign. Professor Burns said, She needs to be out there doing some things during the campaign, and it seems like, especially with this recent spate of activity, they're really kind of testing the waters. The professor believes it was as good a time as any for Melania to get some practice under her belt. Eyebrows have been raised because of the increase in activity from Melania compared to her first year in the role. Ryder University Professor of Communications Myra Guten said, For those of us who follow the First Lady, it's been harder than with previous First Ladies to really assess what Mrs. Trump is doing. There's sometimes no rhyme or reason to it. Princeton University research scholar Lauren Wright claimed Melania had made just eight speeches in 2017, as opposed to Michelle Obama's 74 in her first year. She said, In recent times, she would qualify as probably the least active first lady. Recent uh, reports claim due to her lack of words spoken and few appearances, every time Melania steps out her front door, she receives a lot of news coverage. Ms. Wright claimed Melania has been toad dripping into more ceremonial events that traditionally fall to first ladies. Melania's increased public appearances have not gone without suffering backlash. The First Lady recently promoted her anti-bullying Be Best campaign at the New York Stock Exchange. She was joined by a group of children from the United Nations International School after many parents rejected the invitation amid claims their children were being used as props. Adam Pincus, whose daughter attends the school, told the Washington Post, She happens to be the representative of the Trump administration, whose modus operandi is lying and bullying, two of the biggest, most basic lessons we teach children to avoid in life. Parents claim they would welcome a visit from the First Lady if there were no cameras present. The news outlet also claimed parents felt Melania's appearance at the stock exchange was a ploy to project an image of strength at a time of economic uncertainty. Melania also received humiliation after the scissors to reopen the Washington Monument didn't work. Ms. Wright supported Melania, claiming there had been many unfair critiques of her. She said, I think there have been some very unfair critiques of her lack of public activity. There's no requirement that she sets aside her life and just turns into a full-time advocate for her husband. A March 29 Economist YouGov poll showed Melania's favorability rating beat that of every other member of the Trump family. Ms. Wright said, unlike Ivanka Trump, Melania Trump is not seen as much of a divisive figure because she didn't take an official job in the administration. Just by separating herself from other White House staff members, which Ivanka has not done, she has reserved a little bit of that apolitical capital. Professor Burns also gave praise to Melania, claiming she liked how she did not perform the role according to any previous template. She said, I certainly think that when we get the first man in this position, we're going to see a lot of, oh, well, he doesn't have to worry about state dinners. We don't want him picking China patterns. Why not? Who said these women had any interest in China patterns? But we still said they should do it. Thank you.